Greetings YouTube and Ninjas here with another death battle reaction. Today we're watching Tracer vs. The Scow. Now unfortunately I have watched a few of the other death battles that came out before this like uh, Dante, Bayonetta, Ratchet and Clank and Jack vs. Jack and Daxter and uh, and Bowser and Ganondorf. Those are the main ones that I can remember that I really liked and I wish I had uh, reacted to, but unfortunately, uh, uh, if you haven't seen it, then, uh, go to my, uh, go to my, uh, uh, the update video, and you sh you will see why I haven't been uploading. And that reason, and, uh, well, I won't say the reason, just go watch the video if you're really interested, but regardless, uh, we are here to watch Tracer vs. The Scout. Now, here's what I know about them. Tracer. Uh, is a, I know almost everything about Tracer, because I am addicted to Overwatch, as is everyone else. Big surprise. Uh, but like I said in my uh, update video, I unfortunately don't, my laptop doesn't have the com right compatibility for graphics. So, I unfortunately can't play Overwatch right now. And I would love to play o Overwatch and upload it to you guys, for you guys, but unfortunately that is not, that just is not the case. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> but, uh, I know, I've looked into the lore, I've watched video after video of people playing Overwatch, so I know about Tracer. Uh, and, and I know that, sh and I know just basically a lot of things, uh, such as I know how all of her abilities work, I know her, uh, <laughs> I know that her, uh, uh, I know all about her, like, past and how w how she and Winston became best friends. Uh, though the Scout, the Scout is the one I don't know too much about. It's mainly because he's, uh, uh, from a game I've actually never played, which I know would pro will probably get me a lot of hate and is like, you should play Team Fortress 2. Well, if I have, if I have, if I have the time, money, and memory space on this stupid laptop, then I will. But... I ha I know quite a bit about Scout, is considering I have been very interested in the Tracer vs. Scout uh, pair, uh, pairing on how people like compare the two characters. I've seen rap battles of these of these two, which are very good. By the way, if you haven't watched the JT Machinima uh, rap battle of the of Tracer vs. Scout, I really love that one. But mm, yeah, so let's get right into it. Oh, and from what I know, I think Tracer will win, because I know Tracer more, but we'll find out. To be the elite, you must surround yourself with the best of the best. Whether you band together to save the world, or just a worthless plot of land. And every good team needs a good hidden runner, like Tracer, the spunky agent of Overwatch. And the scout, the Boston-born merc of Team Fortress. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I was thinking it'd be 3D. 30 years from the present, mankind would become careless. Their machine servants rose up to fight for freedom, and so began a worldwide war. But uh. one organization stood between world peace and total chaos. Overwatch. A team consisting of the world's greatest scientists, cyborgs, ninjas, cowboys, and pilots. Including Lena Oxton, codenamed Tracer. The youngest pilot ever inducted into Overwatch's flight program, Tracer is a free-spirited and fearless flying ace, always laughing in the face of danger. After helping to secure world peace, no big deal, right? She was chosen to test a new prototype fighter jet, which could teleport. But then everything went horribly wrong. Instead of teleporting from point A to B, the fighter jet accidentally transported her through time. How do you accidentally create a time machine and put it in a fighter jet? A word to the wise, this is why you use animals before moving to human trials, like I always do. Anyway, Tracer <laughs> essentially existed as a ghost, uncontrollably phasing in and out of time. It looked like Overwatch's prized pilot would be decommissioned forever. 
until her teammate, good friend, and gorilla scientist Winston made a special techno doohickey to keep her locked in the present. This chronal accelerator doesn't just anchor Tracer's time displacement, it also gives her two different ways to manipulate her own time flow. In a near instant, she can zoom approximately 23 feet away. This blink ability is not true teleportation, but instead speeds up time only for Tracer while propelling her in any given direction. What? She can briefly jump herself forward in time, though from an outside view it looks like a blur. Got it. More than that, <laughs> she can also reverse time for herself with the recall ability, which returns Tracer's health and spatial position back to where they were a few seconds before. While usually recall only turns back 3 seconds, in some instances she's gone as far back as 15. Well, thank god her weapons aren't as confusing as that shit. She carries dual rapid fire pulse pistols as her primary pain dispensers. Each can empty 20 rounds in a single second. But what the pulse pistols have in power, they sorely lack in range and accuracy. Good thing she also has her pulse bombs. I'll put it this way, pretty much anybody she sticks this thing to has exactly two seconds to make their peace before going to the big capture point in the sky. Tracer maximizes <laughs> her unique weaponry with hit and run tactics, frustrating her enemies and making her very difficult to pin down. Yeah, in addition to blinking and recalling all over the place, she can jump 15 feet in the air. She's disarmed the highly trained and literally cold-blooded assassin, Widowmaker, protected the Doomfist gauntlet from theft, and even once avoided a sniper shot from just 30 feet away. A sniper round usually travels almost 1,800 miles per hour when fired, meaning Tracer had to react within one hundredth of a second. Unfortunately, that bullet found another target. Ah, uh, the intended target. Ah, rest in peace, Robot Gandhi. Although... <laughs> <laughs> That's actually very accurate. Its limits. If used too many times in succession, it can overheat, forcing Tracer to wait for a recharge. As her pistols are linked to the accelerator, this can sometimes cause them to overload as well. Plus, she's a pilot first, and not exactly a crack shot while on foot. If she doesn't get in close, she's not hitting anything but air. In spite of that, Tracer doesn't let any of it get her down. Wherever there's danger, she'll be there in a blink of an eye with a cocky smile and a barrage of bullets. Ah. Wait, whatever happened to that time warping fighter jet? I don't know. Uh, there were laughs coming with you. <laughs> I love that. How was my tracer impersonation? Ah, oh, damn ads. What the? Oh. Nightcrawler? I mean, Ems. Can I have one? Sorry, Storm. I'm saving those for a rainy day. Okay. <laughs> I see what's gonna happen there. Cavalry, eh? <laughs> in the year 1850, an extremely wealthy entrepreneur passed away. Time to learn about Scout. his family land and business to his two sons. But like brothers are prone to do, they ended up fighting over each other's land right off the bat. This went on for decades, and then the brothers began recruiting mercenaries to literally wage war. And that's when things really got out of control. Each hired gun contributed with their own specialized expertise. The sniper killed from afar, the engineer slaughtered with machines, and the heavy mowed people down with the biggest goddamn gun they'd ever seen. What kind of sandwiches were they feeding that guy? But one every man only relied on his cutting, his two feet, and a baseball bat. This was the Scout. Born in Boston, Massachusetts in the 1950s, the mercenary only known as Scout was the runt among seven older brothers. And all of them loved to wander the town looking for a good fight. Problem was, Scout's brothers were so big and tough, the fights would be over before he could get the chance to throw his own punches. Desperate to fight alongside his siblings, Scout realized that what he lacked in strength, he could make up for in speed. So he started running, and running, and running until one day he was fast enough to not only keep up, but get ahead. Speed was his moniker, delivering pain was his game, and somewhere along the way he even learned how to jump off of thin air. Suddenly, the pathetic runt of the pack became the smart mouth terror of Boston. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I hurt people. The only thing he was lacking was <laughs> discipline. Which he could get in the military, but that didn't sound like any fun, so he became a mercenary instead. 
scout travels light, relying on a lovely mm. shotgun and a baseball bat. Yes, a baseball bat. This guy is crazy enough to try and take out a rocket launcher wielding soldier with a pop fly. Which surprisingly works. Opponents are stunned by the size of his balls, both literally and figuratively, leaving them open for Scout to race up and finish them oh, off with his Oh, come on. Well, he's got a pistol for pinpoint accuracy, Scout's favorite tools for killing are definitely shotguns. The scatter gun is a confusing miracle of shotgun engineering that can somehow hold six shots in a double barrel and is reloaded via divine intervention when you pull its lever. It's like the baby of a shotgun rifle and a revolver. But his most powerful gun is the force of nature. A shotgun that only has two oh, shots. Oh, that's the reference. So it can boost him even higher into the air. Regardless, a well-placed shot can quickly take down almost any other mercenary. To make hmm. the force of nature even more ridiculous, he can strap a can of energy drink called Bonk Atomic Punch to it, which somehow gives him five more mid-air jumps. That's right. This guy flies with shotguns. But that's not all the soda has to mm. offer. With just a sip of bunk, Scout becomes totally invincible for eight seconds. But he can't use any of his guns at that time. Mm. Probably due to the shakes. Bonk contains several hundred times the daily recommended sugar intake. An adult male's suggested daily dosage is 25 grams, meaning Bonk contains, at minimum, 11 pounds of sugar. What? So much sugar he can't take another drink for at least 20 seconds. And on top of that, it's radioactive. You gotta have one tough body to handle that stuff. Tough enough to survive the onslaught of three rockets at once, or to swing a baseball bat hard enough to send a guy flying 80 feet away. Possibly due to long-term bonk exposure, but testing is still out. Scout can defeat foes as strong as the heavy in close quarters combat, run 17 miles an hour for long periods of time, mm. and even kill a bear with nothing but a hot dog suit and Amelia Earhart skeleton. I'm serious. He has a knack for avoiding bullets, missiles, and even tentacles from a bread monster, but at the cost of wearing little to no armor, making him a glass cannon. And true to his reckless, unrestrained personality, mm. Scout often runs headfirst into battle, regardless of the risk. But if you want to take down the Scout, you're going to have to catch him before he catches you. And that means you too, ladies. That's right, Fancy Pants, myself. So why don't you take your little failure, roll it up sideways, and... Okay, crap, I gotta go. Screw you, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, I'm feeling pretty hungry. If only there were some sort of amazing service that sent a box full of food and recipes straight to my door. Oh, hey! Okay, we're gonna stop. Wait. You Actually. know how it is. Researching characters and making them fight to the death is time consuming. Okay, never mind. Fast forward ahead. As a meal, Blue Apron sends me seasonal recipes with pre portioned ingredients to make delicious. Okay, we're gonna mute this while we talk. Alright, so after what's happened, uh, I'm kind of conflicted. I feel like both of them have advantages. Uh, the. the uh, who wins by power? I think the scout would win, c uh, considering all the all that stuff he can do with those power ups and the bonk soda, and, and the v fact that he can become invincible for a while. It sounds like through power he could win, but with the tracer, it, uh, she can uh, she can not only fight with uh, she can not not only uh, use her. Uh, I think her time traveling ex uh, abilities will be helpful for her, but it also looks like she'll be able to. Uh, it look from what I think, she seems to have more experience in uh, the military than Scout, because considering he's only a mercenary. So it's possible that Tracer might win because of her experience and her time uh, fighting in the uh, Omni uh, in the Omni Crisis. But I'm not 100% certain. So going with what I know, I'm going to say the Scout will win. But if Tracer, but I'm hoping for Tracer to win since I know her better. But if uh, Tracer, if Tracer does win, I'll be very happy and I'll be, be happy to see why. But I'm going to say Scout. So with that, let's play.
<laughs> you must not get asked very often. Okay, you're toast. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey there, hot stuff. Hello. If I told you you had a great bod, would you uh, hold it against me? Um, that's nice. I was just leaving. Oh, sure thing. Come back anytime. Just, uh, put that briefcase back before you go. Thanks. Sorry, love. Overwatch needs to get more than you. Oh, this is going to be sad if he has to kill Tracer. <laughs> she used that a lot faster than I thought she would. Oh! Supposedly, this stuff will liquefy your esophagus after just one case, but, you know, it's also very handy when you feel like not getting blown up. That's not very fair. Listen, sweetheart. I never play fair. <laughs> Here we go. Recall? Recall? Come on, recall. Recall. All right, Dal. Fun's over. Not yet, mate. Come on, recall. <laughs> she said it! pulled her ahead. Scout's greatest feat was potentially surviving an assault from three rockets at once. However, the rocket's point of impact is never directly shown, and since direct hits from rockets regularly obliterate far tougher marks, it's unreasonable to assume this was any different. Scout could sprint up to 17 miles an hour for an extended period of time, which is slightly faster than the average human's 15 miles per hour. But Tracer's natural reactive instinct gave her the edge. For example, avoiding that sniper round from 30 feet away means she can react 25 times faster than the vast majority of other human beings. Which means Tracer could avoid almost anything Scout threw at her. Even when she couldn't, her recall ability not only helped her survive, but effectively ruined any of Scout's elements of surprise. This allowed Tracer plenty of opportunities to take him out. And just like that, Scout was gone without a trace. The win was <laughs> Tracer. Yes! I'm very okay with this. Okay, next, next time. Next time on Death Battle. Ken? Ken! I was right. Cool. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Death Battle. I'm Ben. I'm the showrunner. Okay, cool. All right. Tracer versus Scout. I'm very happy with the outcome. And I gotta say, they were right. And I was kind of right for the most part. Uh, well, except that, that I went with Scout, but, <laughs> uh, I, di I did think that Tracer did have a chance. I did think that, so I'm not completely wrong, but I didn't, I didn't go with her, so, yeah, there's that. 
But I'm very happy with the outcome. This has been an awesome death battle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. What reaction videos should I do? Because I've only been doing really death battles. So give me something to react to. I need to know these things, guys. But until next time, thank you guys again for watching. And until then, arigato and goodbye.